Hey, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? The shirts are already telling you what time it is, so the only question is, do you nerd for VGM? Ta-da! VGM stands for... Video Games Monthly! And that means that you get all kinds of retro gaming goodness sent straight to your house. You do not rent these. You do not trial these. These are yours to keep you in your collection. You do not go. You do not collect $200. They have you covered from the most retro systems to some of the more modern systems. So there's something for everybody there. And if you tell them you don't want something like sports games, they won't send them to you. It's time to tear into this. Pokemania is here. The brother. What you do is subscribe to the three games a month box, but often there's more than one in there. They put a little extra in there because they know we're people. Yep. Something else. Lady Lacey likes to blindly hand them off to me, so I will let her open the box. All right. The business card to win three free games. Share a photo of this month's box on our Facebook page, and two winners could receive free games. The card that tells you to populate your list. They have an online list for you to fill out to avoid any duplicates, so long as you remember to fill it in. Free gift. Oh, nice. A flashlight. Oh, hey, that's a nice flat one, too. Oh, there's no whistle this time. Yeah, no rain whistle hurt for your you. Ears. Good. <laughs> Video Games Monthly always likes to pack in a little extra bit for you. And they're and usually always useful. It's, items yeah, it's too. always like practical stuff, like a koozie, or uh, I think we got a calendar one time, and then, of course, a mm -hmm. flashlight. Oh, I'm blind. We did not get a one-up this time. We didn't get any ups this time. Oh, Sad we got things. Tony's box. We did not get Back in the day, Gamer we stop did not sending us Tony's his box. Because Tony doesn't get these kinds of boxes. Power up! Oh, a power up? <laughs> I think we just got a power up. <laughs> I I'm, know. I'm not complaining, though. <laughs> Sweet. Don't let so. them know there was a clerical error. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you have received many free games. Thank you for being a Video Games Monthly subscriber. Sweet! So this means much more than three games. Yep. I'm ready. Someone's not ready? I was trying to think of something to make you guess with. <laughs> ah, yes! Quackshot starring Donald Duck. I have been hearing so many other people on YouTube talk about how fun this game is. I have never played it, and I did not have it in the collection. And I actually sent them a message because you can send them an email list of some wish list items. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, don't ask for little Samson. That's probably not going to happen. But I told them if they happen to ever come across a copy of this, I would love to add it to the collection because I really want to try this. And And the way people talk about it, I was like, okay, I've got to try that. Right. Wow. It's going to be pretty tough to top that one already. This is a tiny game from the year 2000. Uh, oh, gosh. Pretty much everything in the year 2000 was named 2000. I was thinking Game Boy, but it is Game Boy Advance Sim City 2000. The only time I ever played Sim City 2000 was on PS1. And I remember... It took things to another level. You had to put, like, water in everyone's house. Oh. Uh, I mean, you had so much micromanagement, and it was kind of a little much. But, because I was expecting more of the same from the Super Nintendo Sim City. Oh, gosh, even So more. I was like, ah, oh, geez. I'm very curious to see how it looks on a Game Boy yeah, Advance. Be because everything in Sim City can kind of be very small. What if, so could you put it in the, in the Game Boy Player? We could, but... Since they have to shrink it all down anyway, we'll yeah. have to see how, how nice it looks. You ready for some army men? Army men? Army men. The only thing I'm thinking is PS1, but I don't think no. I have that one selected. This is a cartridge. Well, I guess in 64 because of the era. Yep. <laughs> army men, Sarge's hero. Oh, and uh, it looks like they have your your toy that you once found of Vicky right uh -huh. there. But I had no idea who she was. She's Although... 
I don't. She looks a little nervous around all of these big, smiling, you green if you were faces. The only female around all these men. Uh, what I'm kind really... of game you guys send in here? <laughs> um, it looks like there's been a little army damage in the back. Honestly, I don't care about stuff like this. This is the back yeah. labels. Uh, but everything else looks pretty nice about it. I used to play a lot of the army men games on the PS1, and I always thought it was real clever whenever you would get shot and like pieces of plastic would fleck off of you, you know, instead of like blood or damage or, or any other yeah. kind of wound. And this next one is a sealed box game. Ooh, a sealed game. From Sega! Oh, we got a nice, oh, I was thinking a big Sega game, but we got a game Caesar's game. Palace on Game Gear. Wow. Now, I've been to Caesar's Palace. I'll let you know if this looks legit. Oh, look at this, uh, Maj Ami. It was 20 bucks at some point. <laughs> and the cover is cracking me up because it looks like they took graphics from the game and made the cover out of it, which is a fine idea, except for the fact that it doesn't look so good nowadays. <laughs> I used to be a sucker for casino games back in the day, like on Super Nintendo especially. Mm -hmm. Me and my buddies would play them. No idea really why, except for I think it was the fact that you could blow all this money and it wasn't <laughs> not hurting really you. Because it's not your money. It, it's make believe money. So, what do you think? Should we open this or should we. Well, keep you know, it sealed we never. For now? I don't know. We ne I never keep my stuff sealed up, but that's it, up to you. It is just Caesar's Palace, other than Captain Algebra. I can't imagine anyone's going to be knocking down the door to play Caesar's Palace on Game Gear. <laughs> so, how about in the comments you guys let us know, should we go ahead and open it or not? And if we open it, we'll drop some pictures over on social media for yeah. you guys to see. Now, this next game has a personal note on it. Uh-oh. It says, we expect a dance move in the next video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This is a Game Gear, or I mean a Nintendo GameCube. Okay. This has, uh... Hits, is this Mario? Hit songs from Jessica Simpson, Jewel, Kevin Little, plus dance workout mode. I don't know if I don't want to dance to any of that music. MC Grooves Dance Crazy. Okay, what? What? What's... Mad Cats made games? <laughs> you know, seriously, Mad Cats, they were the ones that always put out all the, like, controllers and peripherals and everything. I it looks didn't like there's a pad games. on the back, like you get a dance pad. The Mad Cat's Beat Pad is designed to work with this game exclusively. Who's MC Grooves? I don't know. Alright, so what are your dance moves? She's doing the, the biting <laughs> lip. It's usually what I do. Oh, look. Oh, now I'm really dizzy. <laughs> it's complete in there, too. Um, oh, wait, you didn't show me your dance moves. My dance move, well, my go-to, you, you gotta, you gotta take day-to-day -day stuff <laughs> oh, into no. your dance moves. I remember so, this when we first met. He showed me his dance moves. So you know, you got the Q-tip. You know, so you're, you're cleaning, I knew that was the cleaning the air, cleaning the air, cleaning the air, cleaning the air. Ready? Throw, throw it, it away. Throw, throw it, it away. away. Yep. Clean the air. Throw it away. Clean the air. Throw it away. Or you do the the lawnmower. Start in the mower. Start in the mower. <laughs> Check in the oil. I hope you're pleased with yourself, BGM. Oh. <laughs> There's one more game in the box. Ooh. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, so six? Mm -hmm. They doubled us up. Alright, All right. so this isn't the game, but it has something to do with it. So, Mario! And it's a Nintendo. So it can't be a Luigi's Mansion game, because I think those would all be a little too... Well, no. Not GameCube, but we already have this it on GameCube. This is an NES game. Cartridge. So this could be Mario's Missing, yep. Mario's Time Machine. Mario's Missing. So Mario is Missing. Do you guys remember when Luigi wasn't allowed to have his own, like, platform games, but he could be the star of the edutainment ones. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, because like when Bowser kidnaps Peach, it's, hey, run through all these castles, kill all these enemies, and then you can rescue your girl. When he kidnaps Mario, though, apparently it's like, hey, let's answer a bunch of trivia about historical facts. Peach 
Peach has got better things to do than to go rescue, you know, the short, round little man. Yeah, I guess so. Um, of course, you know, she she might be doing her own thing with her uh, vibe scepter. That's what it was called, Super Princess Peach. You guys can look it up. <laughs> Perverts. It's just a game reference. This just became NSF. <laughs> This was quite a haul. I oh know. my gosh. Um, I will say this. I don't think I'm very interested in dancing. Why not? <laughs> but, and and, and uh, you guys are going to have to let us know if you want us to open the Caesar's Palace <laughs> on Game Gear. But definitely the rest, I'm very, very curious about. I'm, I I liked my SimCity back in the day, so I'm very curious to take a look at it on Game Boy Advance. I want to see if Sarge's Heroes plays out like some of the other Army Men games I've played. Mario is missing. We're going to give our brains a workout. We may not be dancing, but we'll be uh, dancing our neurons. And then Quackshot, I'm I'm still very, very excited. I think you would start... have only ca you would have not minded at all if that was the only game. Probably not because because it was a wish list game. So yeah, I think you started with the wrong one because I'm I'm still very excited for this. No. Well, Nerdlings, you were definitely going to have to leave plenty of comments down below your favorite dance moves, what you think of these <laughs> games, or if we should open this up. And give the video a like if you happen to like it. Check out VGM. See, yes. You see the kind of stuff that they send out. They send out good so, stuff. So hit them up. You know, populate that list. Let them know what you're interested in because they're really easy to talk to. And if you do check them out, tell them, hey, I saw that you sent Do You Nerd some cool stuff, so why don't you send me some cool stuff? So tell them Do You Nerd sent mm -hmm. you. Because we did. We're sending you right now. But be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to TeePublic because we have merchandise over there. Check us out on the Retro Refresh page. And if we like it, we nerd it for video games monthly. Power up! Paul, stop trying to chew on that bag. Psst. <laughs> it's all it takes, just a little. Check us out on the Retro Refresh page. Can we try that again? Retro Refresh is quite a freaking tongue tire. Power up! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you can do that. <laughs> How does it, was it, is this a dance move? The like, water sprinkler. Dude, like, shake it. Dude, at least he's capping.